just fucking awful. And brutal. And fucking vivid. You see that? You should run away as fast as you can because I'm a walking time bomb, baby. I feel like I'm seeing everything for the first time. Holy shit, that's a great story. Guards! No! I'm not the rat. Wait, everybody, go! I have no idea! No, it's not the fantasy. It's not the American dream. You hear me? You want a blowjob. That's not what I want. I want, I want a, a vat of grease, and I, I just want to drink it down until my heart explodes. What's the goddamn saying? When you don't want to be smart. Uh, ignorance is bliss? No. It's shut the fuck up. I don't want to be smart. Maybe it's the fact that you're a sack-busting, arrogant bitch. It just, no offense, I'm, honestly, it actually turns me on. How the hell are we gonna market this? We could cut the second verse, you know, pop back into the chorus. Hey, man, you cut that, I'll cut you in half. What are you rolling? Whippets, goofballs? Little wowie sauce with the boys? No, I'm not on any drugs. What's these? Where in are we to reposit our recently deceased cargo? I'm the Michael Bay of anal. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Did you think I was gonna do that? Well, that'll never fucking happen. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a kangaroo! 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 That's true, you know, you of all people should know that every great con has a chill. Steal from us? No. I mean, we did, but I'm so sorry. Hey, for what it's worth, if you gotta put this guy down, no one from my office is gonna second guess you. That's great. That's great. I was uncharacteristically on yesterday. I'm normally kind of a dud. Didn't I tell you never to cut against the grain of the wood? I don't know. Didn't I? Here's a tip, Ralph's, $3.99 a dozen, and you know what, they taste the same. Hey, how you cut that fence and get this goddamn platoon on the move? All right, you're starting to piss me off and we're just getting going here. The day before you ride back into town, Ava Crowder decides to ventilate her husband with a hunting rifle, okay? A few days after that, she stands by holding a Marshal Service shotgun, I believe that that's right, while you shoot Boyd Crowder in the very same house, in the same room, on the same goddamn chair where his brother died. And you know what that means? We're gonna have to release Boyd Crowder. When's my mother's birthday? When was my mother's birthday? September 22nd, 1944. Where did my cousin Paul go to college? West Point. Where did my aunt Pat live? Avenue A. There was a vacuum repair shop on the ground floor. She lived on the fifth. Remember, she had birds. How do you know this shit? I know, cause it's me. Anyway, this is my wife. Dina, we've been married for 13 years. And uh, I love her. I mean, I truly love this woman. Just take a second to imagine your life without her. Really just take a minute and then think about all the things that you love about her. I don't, um... I don't do that enough, but I'm doing it tonight. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Why? There's no why. There's just you and me right here, right now. Do you understand that? You really think you're gonna figure out what happened to this kid? No, I'm gonna try like hell. Luz, how's Buck? He's fine. You sure? Yes, he's fine. You stay where you are! I will bust you up. You know, for me, I'm just a fighter. I've always been a fighter. It's okay for me, you know, that's what I am. Daddy, I just want to go home. What the hell is she doing here? I don't want her to suffer anymore. Where are the kids? No, there's no way you're getting those kids back. Today, as you read this, you're en route to the great adventure for which you have Trained for over two years. Drop the Doyle right there! Now! Come on! Come on! Hurry! Oh! Somebody help me! Remember this feeling that you have right now. How short life is, how fragile and unfair. And use it to inspire yourself.